Okay, in section five, we're going to be looking at what is known as ecological succession. Ecological succession is a process of change in the species that make up a community. Most of the time when we look at ecological succession, though, it's going to be referring to the plants in the area. So we will be doing a lab on ecological succession where we're going to be going uh, around the school, uh, outside the school here, and we're going to be looking at three areas, a meadow, the edge, and the woods. And we're going to see how those, if we just let them go, what would end up happening in the future. So succession occurs following a disturbance in an ecosystem. So succession can, uh, it's going to regenerate or create a community after a disturbance. These disturbances can be man-made. They can be natural uh uh, disturbances as well, so a natural disaster or something like that. So it's going to end up being a sequence of biotic change, so only living things are going to end up allowing for the succession to occur. So uh, It's going to be damaged communities are going to end up needing to be regenerated. New communities arise in previously uninhabited areas, that's another example of succession occurring. So there are types of succession. You have primary succession, which is going to be started by a pioneer species. Primary successions are going to be where you have barren land. So like a glacier has happened uh, or you've had a volcanic eruption and there is no soil there. So you're going to end up with what are known as pioneer species, which would be things like moss and lichen, which will break down the stones in the area and you'll end up having soil start to form, then you'll get small little shrubby bushes, and then those little shrubby bushes will start to get bigger and bigger and form trees and th until you end up with actually more and uh, more fertile soil in that area because of the that process happening. In secondary succession, you already have soil present there and it's going to be started by the remaining species in that area. So most of the time it's going to be after like a natural disaster, like a fire, a tornado, something like that in an area. You'll see that there is soil there. The soil may be damaged, uh, but it will be uh, available for the plants to start growing pretty rapidly after this has occurred. So that is the last part of chapter 14, um, and that's the end of the notes for section 5 on succession.